Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are going to check the OnePlus 10 Pro tips, tricks, hidden features and settings background of this phone. So guys, let's start from the most essential tips. So I am unlocking the phone. So even after unlocking, I am laying my hand over here. This leads to be the selection of five apps you can see. So I can instantly go to the gallery. I would repeat it once again. So I am unlocking the phone and keeping the hand right over there itself. I can either go to the Geekbench directly. So you can see. So how to set up this feature? So all you need to go to the settings and over there you can see special features and up on there you can see an option called quick launch. So this is the feature which I am currently talking about. So you can see that here are five apps which I have currently set up. And if you want to change any of the application, you can just tap over here and you can either set it to any functions or you can select to the, your favorite app. So suppose you can only select five apps. So I am removing my YouTube as well as gallery and I am taking one of Adunto benchmark and the next one would be the CPU throttle test. So my favorite, if so if you're a gamer, you can set up Call of Duty, Pug, BGMI, as well at all. And then you can all do is uh, and pr press the tick and then you again lock. So unlock me the fingerprint and you can see the five applications and instantly go to the Adunto benchmark. So it's a rapid way to immediately go to the favorite apps instantly from the lock screen. So next tip you can see. So I am just drawing a W over here and instantly goes to the Gmail and I'm drawing an M and it goes to the maps. So how to set up this type of feature? So all you need to go to the uh, system settings and upon here you can see an option called gestures and motions so over there you can see an option called screen of gestures upon here you can see draw m you can set it to any apps which you wish so currently i'm set it to the maps and draw w you can also set it to any of the apps so currently i have set it to the uh, gmail and slide up slide down you can see i am slide up so it uh, takes to the gallery and slide down so it takes me to the alarm so you can set it up in any way which you want okay so nice set of customization over there and you can also the options for the double tap to wake or turn off the screen over there draw o to open camera v to turn on flashlight every option from instantly from the lock screen you can go to the any app so i am drawing the o over here for the camera and you can see the camera boom and i'm drawing the v over here so instantly turn on the flashlight so this is really convenient so i'm turning off the flashlight so let's go back to the system settings and upon here you can see gestures and motions so this is a screen of gestures which i'm talking about apart from that we can some more uh, controls related to music and all and even if you can add more gestures to it that means slide right slide right so you can set it up approximately nearly 10 functions so from the screen off itself so nice implementation and apart from that you can see some other features like three finger swipe leads to the screenshot and if you are a partial screenshot that means you can only need to take a screenshot from here to here so how do you do that just uh, take the three fingers and just press and hold over here itself and you can see a slight bottom bar over there and you can resize it to any way as you like so you can see so from here to here so that i am done and just press the tick so you are done to go so that's a really nice feature so that's called partial screenshot and apart from that you can see some more options like raise to wake feature that means if your phone is uh, that means locked over here and instantly where you raise your phone instantly your skin in wakes up then the next is lift to ear to answer calls that means if you are in this um if you are receiving some normal incoming call and instantly without even swiping the call that means without even pressing the answer button you just take the phone to the ear instantly the phone um attends the call so that's another feature then auto switch to review that means if you're on the speaker and immediately someone arrives and you want to switch to the uh, earpiece then you can just directly take the phone to the ear instantly switches to the earpiece then same with the mute so if you are receiving incoming call just flip the phone instantly mutes up the phone so these are the features in the gestures and motions area so you can see the next would be the one-handed mode so it's just draw a normal swipe on the bottom over here you can see instantly it's open the one-handed mode just give a normal swipe down over there instantly it turns on one hand mode so nice implementation and then moving to the power button you can see if you press and hold the power button it by default it would be on the voice assistant so like this 
it would be showing like the voice assistant so you need to switch the power menu for just press and hold and you can instantly go to the power menu okay so that's related to the power button and apart from that you can see some settings related to the uh, screen recording and which are definition means you want to record in the 2k normal hd or 720p hd so uh, regarding some customization regarding that so show the screen touches and all so it's regarding the customization of the screen recording okay then we have a feature called ram boost which enables to the optimize ram usage based on your usage and all so i do recommend to turn on the ram boost feature okay and apart from that system navigation option is there so if you wish to do the traditional button navigation you can see the button cell also here so just press the back and go to the navigation but i do prefer the gesture navigation so these are just awesome to do and if you want a bottom bar you can see there is completely uh, uh screen over there so if you want a gesture guide bar then just turn off this feature hide gesture guide bar then you can see a small bar over there so that's another one and the main interesting thing is if you want to switch between apps currently you can see so currently i'm having a few apps over here so if you want to switch from one to another just you need to just go to this, this swipe like this see so this is one of the best convenient to switching between the apps is really cool guys just give a swipe like you do like you swipe between the photos on the gallery so that's a really nice one so i will all and also you can do it in another way so i will show you so that feature is called switch to previous app feature that means uh, just do the back and keep on holding and you can see icon of gmail over there then leave it again press the back and hold over there you can see uh, icon of settings leave it then again you can see the icon on the left so you can switch between the apps like this too. but this is more convenient than that so i do recommend keeping on this one okay so that's it regarding the system navigation so guys then the next thing but which is on default was the one plus shelf that means so if, if you are normally using the phone like this and if you are immediately uh, that means uh, swiping down for the notification panel immediately this screen arrives this is called the oneplus shelf actually this may be sometimes irritating for you actually i feel a bit irritated that's why i just turned off the feature that means if you are looking for the notification panel instantly so if you are swiping in between uh, that means from the middle to the left then it would be perfectly fine but if you are swiping on the right then instantly the shelf appears so you can turn off the shelf immediately from the settings icon on the shelf itself and just off okay then you can instantly all time you can just access the notification panels but i would uh, do the settings related to the shelf is really like actually it's a sort of widgets it's a collection of widgets over there so you can add multiple tons of widgets over there you can see so actually let me add all the widgets over here to give you a brief idea about the features so i have added so much new widgets and all clock and all so you can see this is a collection of widgets you can see there are many widgets over there this is the youtube music clock google um, browser and the clock so you have tons of widgets of it so i don't recommend really really this uh, oneplus shelf and all it's a actually you not need to scroll via uh, via these pages to access the widgets and all at a glance you can access every widgets on this so you can instantly play music from here so anything you can do so if you are really interested in widgets then you can directly go for this guy and also you can write some custom text some greetings and also actually currently currently have it go is love so you can see uh let me so let me turn on the shelf so you can see the god is love text over here so that's regarding the uh, shelf and i'm disabling this i am not really fond of this widget stuff and all so if you are really fond of widgets then you can uh, use that okay so i just turned off and apart from that if you move to special features then you have work life balance and scout features over here so you can check it out and then apart from that the one of the main features like regarding the app lock app hide private safe app clone so is in the privacy so let me first look at the app lock so let me turn on the app lock and you can see here is uh, the all the list of apps which are installed on the phone so i am turning on the uh, chrome clock as well as drive over there and and let me uh, use the chrome so i'm opening the account you can see uh, it's uh, showing i uh, use the face or fingerprint so i am using the fingerprint instantly the chrome opens 
But for the very next time, if you open the Chrome, it won't ask for any password, pin or pattern. And same thing goes with all the apps. But if we lock the phone and again unlock, then if you open the Chrome, then it would again ask, ask for the uh, face or fingerprint, else it won't ask. So how to, um, even if the phone exits the app, immediately you need to close, right? So you, you need to go to the privacy app lock, and then you can see a settings icon over here. Tap on the settings and you can see an option, lock app when. So just tap on the here and you can select exiting the app. So each time when you exit the app, the app gets automatically locked. So again, I'm giving an example. So I am opening the Chrome. So it's opened and the next time I'm opening. So again, locked and unlocked with my fingerprint. And the third time I'm again opening the Chrome. So see, so every time the Chrome gets automatically locked when I just left the app. So that's really interesting. So that was regarding the app lock. Okay, so moving to the privacy and next we are moving to the hide app section. So for setting the hide apps, you need to set a privacy password. So apart from the normal password, you could also set another secondary password for you. So I have set it up another password for 321. And I'm gonna hide few apps like Chrome, Clock, Calendar. So I have uh, here I uh, Chrome, Clock, Calendar and all. And that's it. And you can see now the Chrome, Clock and Calendar won't, won't be here. So how to access these features? So where should I find them? Then you can see, you can set it up a dial code. That means if you uh, you want to type, like if your password is 0000, then you could type hash 0000 hash. So I am typing my hash 4321 hash. So you can see all the hidden apps over there. So it would be asking for once you would be hiding the apps, it would be automatically asking, set your privacy password as well as set your dial code and all for separate accessing your, what we call uh, the hide, hidden apps. So that's how we do it. So you can also change the access code also over here. So let me disable all of them. Okay, so you can disable. So that's regarding the hide apps. Then move to the private safe. Actually, private safe is a sort of uh, uh, like a vault uh, that means a secure folder as on we seen on the Samsung device and all. So it keeps a uh, private uh, space in your phone. So I like I'm tapping the uh, images and videos over here and I'm clicking the press button and I wish to hide this vehicle photo. So vehicle one, vehicle two, vehicle three, vehicle four. So I have hidden four, uh, four of them, which is related to vehicles. And you can see an option over here set as private. So I just set as private. So these four, uh, which is related to vehicles are now hidden. And let me move to the gallery and check for these of them. So you can see nothing over there. And from here also, you can access the private safe. You can just give a tap and instantly ask for your, what we call, ask for your uh, face or fingerprint. And if I looked or fingerprint, then you can see all of them. And you can instantly, uh, what we call, unhide uh, by selecting all and set as public and select the location which you set as public and move to the camera and it is completely clear. And you can see all of them is now listed over here. So that's regarding the private safe feature. So now, Moving to the final one, that's the app clone. That means using two apps on the phone. So that's in the settings. So settings, apps, and you want to move to the app cloner. So currently I have didn't set any of the apps like Facebook, WhatsApp and all. So after setting, you can see an icon which is enabled or disabled. So you can enable and you can see two WhatsApp, two Facebooks and all. So that's the app cloner. Okay, now moving to the customization. The entire customization of the phone is in this location. You can see tons of wallpaper options are there. Always on display. Uh, many always on display options are there and you can set which all time it should be displaying and all so you can see from which time to which time or you can see power saving mode and all and then display settings you can see the info whether you can set up the info you sh uh, whether should display the battery notifications and all and apart from that whether you need to show the uh, fingerprint icon and all whether you need to display message so i am currently set up the godis love and you can uh, see i'm just logging so you can see the God is Love icon on the always on display. So you can customize in your own type and you can also see horizontal life and notification arrives on the always on display, how should it display. So you can see you have three features. So that's the horizontal display. And you have tons of customization over here, you can see. Okay, and also you can set it up your own canvas uh, to the, uh, uh, what we call as always on display. So that's also really cool. 
so that's regarding the uh, always on display then we have themes sections over here and we can go to theme store and uh, download extra themes and all and this is the uh, area for setting our own canvas and apart from that you can set it up the icons type so you can see we can customize your icon styles and all and also the icon sizes and all and apps names everything you can customize and apart from that you can see the quick settings is now uh, it's a sort of uh, what do you call it? it is now in square you can see if you want it round you can just tap over here so you can set it up the shapes of the notification icons and all that means the control icons and all and then colors you can set it up so currently i'm currently the color is green you can just tap the red and instantly all the uh, colors will be related to the red and all and if you have also an option for the color chosen to pick your favorite color so i'm set it to blue you can see it's now in the blue color so that's really cool and you can see each of them is now in blue color and then regarding the phone size and display size you can set it up to different phone types okay and then you can set the font size how much font do you need and you can set the display size that means how much the banner size should be so you can say it's the banner size too so that's uh, regarding the font display size then for the fingerprint animation actually you have tons of fingerprint animation so currently i'm setting the fireworks and you can see let me uh, press an fingerprint which is not registered and you can see the fireworks see so that's it so i really like the wormhole one so i just set it up and you can see see wow nice one so you can set it up to your own customization and then the edge lighting means horizontal lightning lighting on this one you have also three options so you can set it up to any of them which you like immediately when you receive a notification or a missed call then it would be displaying this type of lighting over there so that's regarding uh, the personalization so enter customization of the phone is uh, in the personalization then then the next would be the home screen and lock screen so over here you can see currently the home screen mode is in drawer mode drawer mode means we have a separate app launcher along with the home screen so if you just need a home screen just switch to the standard mode then you could just only have a star only just have in the normal classic mode no more launchers would be here so i just don't personally prefer that i just personally prefer the drawing mode that's more interesting we need more tons of customization and all so that's a really cool one and then apart from that you can set the home screen layout how much apps should be displayed five into six six five into six would be the maximum number of apps would be displayed and apart from that we can have a icon pull down gesture so this is mainly useful if you have tons of apps which is in the home page so currently so currently I have this much apps on this page. So if I'm using with one finger, how can I access the stop portion? So you all need to draw and like this, you a horizontal, uh, what we call a swipe like that. So guys, you can see I'm just holding this and like this. So you can see, and just leaving the finger on this app, particular app and instantly the app opens. And again, once more. So just draw like an uh, tick over on the screen, see and it all the apps will be accessed on there so it's a part of 100 optimization and i really like them so instantly goes to the app so you can see nice one so that was the icon pull down gesture and the next is swipe down on the home screen you can also have an option double tap to look you can also turn on that then swipe down on the home screen you can set it up the notification over here so you in any apps just swipe down over here for the notification panel and all so that's really cool one and apart from that you can see the app animation speed slow fast and i would recommend to keeping it on the fast for the blazing fast speed and all and apart from that you have some options like the raise to be double tap to turn on or on or off the screen and then uh, there is an option called recent task manager over here you can see an option called display ram memory information so by default it would be off you should turn on if you want to see how much memory is being used 3.7 gb available 2 plus 3 gb of ram is over there so it's regarding the uh, usage of the memory of the phone and then next move to the display and brightness so upon the display and brightness you can see some options like it's an option called image sharpener option is there and then apart from that we have an option called video color enhancer to enhance the maximum uh, quality of the video we have a video color enhancer mode and apart from that we have a bright hdr mode also for getting the maximum out of the video 
so and also apart from that we have uh, a screen color mode so you can see it's currently on the vivid and apart from that we have natural and we have in pro mode and i would recommend keeping it on the pro mode pro mode for the maximum color vibrancy and all and over there you can see a cinematic mode as well as a brilliant mode also so you can see i really like the cinematic one so pro along with cinematic or either you could select the vivid also vivid is also nice but actually i do recommend keeping it on the pro as well as cinematic for the maximum it depends on your personal preference and all and uh, then you can see a natural color natural tone display and all so automatically adjust the screen color temperature according to the ambient and based on the lighting which is currently on the environment it would automatically adjust your lighting settings and all so that's also a cool feature and apart from that you can see a screen resolution you can also set it to the quad hd plus for the and by default it would be on the full hd plus so if you want to consume more battery then you should uh, use the quad hd plus and if you want to consume less then you can directly go to the fhd plus and then we have the screen refresh rate it's the high is the 120 hertz standard is the 60 hertz okay then apart from that we have the screen display option over there which over there we can see a uh, front camera display by app if you if it is auto adapt then it would be it won't be showing this area and if you actually i am putting to hide front camera okay so now just let me open the chrome and you can see that area is being blanked off right now so that but actually i would say the area is being useful uh, by this time as well as the notification icons as well as the battery icons and all but actually i won't recommend because it's a nice 32 mb left oriented punch hole selfie camera so i do keep it on the auto adapt itself so let me switch to auto adapt and you can see see now it's in full so that's uh, uh, really nice also over here we have the light mode as well as the dark mode so it's an amulet so keeping the dark mode enhances the battery life as well as uh, it's deep black is really nice to see at all so that's uh, regarding the what we call the display and brightness and then moving to the notification and status bar let me take the notification status bar and over here you can see currently the battery percentage is not shown so let's tap the status bar and you can see turn on the battery percentage and you can see the battery percentage over here and you can see the battery style how how which style should be displayed either on the battery icon or on the loop style or didn't show any icon so it, you, you can customize in your own way or don't show that so it depends upon you and you can also select which all status icons which should be displayed over there and then the next will be if you have received multiple uh, what we call uh, notifications over there and if immediately you just cleared all the notifications then you realize that you had an important notification then how to find it out so it would be on the more settings and over here you can see notification history just turn on this so it would be showing all the notifications over there you can see you can see which all uh, notification you have arrived on that day would everything would be shown over there so that's the notification history feature so that's also really nice uh, one okay then we have the sound and vibration option so just tap over there then you can see haptic and tones it's have a really nice haptic motor so you the haptic intensity you can set to the maximum and how that feels crisp gentle you can set it up i just like the crisp one so it feels really nice and uh, you can see whether you need the system haptics or not but i would recommend keeping it on the normal so you can experience some haptics uh, in video type and all so that's also really nice and we have some other settings like Dolby and most features which is over there and all okay so next next is regarding the privacy and security and over here you can see the face option so once you have unlocked the face but still it won't be on the uh, home screen because if you don't turn on this feature enter home screen after unlocking so if i just unlock this font so actually you can see kept unlocked by face unlock but still it's in the uh, lock screen so you need to swipe to go to the home screen so all you need to just tap on enter home screen after unlocking just tap this one and you are immediately good to go so i am again doing that instantly so just a, just a second unlocked with my face instantly goes to the home screen so that's it regarding that 
and then you can see this phone is the 12 GB to 5 GB variant and you can also extend the RAM so you have an extended RAM feature so it's over here about device you can see RAM 12 GB you can go all the way up to extra 7 GB so 12 plus 7, 19 GB of RAM so just go to the uh, about device and select the RAM and put it to the 7 GB one so you can experience the maximum one out of there and also you have some customization regarding the transitions from one page to another page you can see it's the default one then it's the raw type one like we have seen on the previous third party launcher apps like Nova Launcher and all so it's also a cool feature so set to see the transitions between them so it's based on personal preference now let's uh, switch the camera and let's discuss the camera features really quick so we have the night mode in video we have the uh, ultra steady video mode so that's the uh, stabilization of this one is really nice and we have the AI mode and uh, we have the 4k at 120fps 8k 24fps mode over there and we have the photo and upon here we can select the retouch filters and all and we have tons of filter options over there by default like a third party apps and all and over there we can see the AI mode HDR mode as well as if you want to take the high resolution photos then we have the dedicated 15mm mode and then we have the portrait mode also we have the pro mode that means if you want to take the aperture ISO wide balance by manual adjustment then you have directly the pro mode also over there and then we have the panoramic mode movie mode so you can see the movie mode is looks really nice you can instantly set all of the functions over there from the left to, to right and then we have the slow motion time lapse long exposure dual view that means we can simultaneously record the front camera as well as the back camera then we have the 150 degree field of view that means the fisheye effect and all so that's also really nice and apart from that we have the tilt shift option expand option which takes a, what we call a frame of a pic let me show you just an example so it's done okay so you can see so just at a glance you can see a frame of a picture is being taken so that's regarding and the next thing is if you want to what we call a watermark just go to the settings on the camera and just turn on the watermark over there and if you want to customize it just uh, tap the other name and you can type your own name or some uh, name related to your uh, organization and all and you are good to go so that's it regarding the tips tricks hidden features and settings background of the oneplus 10 pro that's all that's all for today guys signing off it's for mania